you remember when I told you that I was ready? We're talking about movies again. We all, we always talk about movies. Hey, I'm Jeremy Kessler, and I'm going to tell you what my favorite movies were of 2019. This is the obligatory part of the video where I tell you that, of course, I have not seen every movie this year, and that these are only my opinions. Please don't get mad at me for them. They're just opinions. They don't matter. Just don't get, don't get mad at me. Let's just jump right into it. Let's just it. jump right into it. Let's just get right into Let's it. Let's jump right into it. Making and watching and thinking about this video is going to be like pulling teeth. Starting off strong at number 10 with Rocket Man. My least favorite movie of the year was Yesterday, and one of the reasons I don't like it is that if you like the Beatles music, Himesh Patel doesn't sing it as good as anyone in the Beatles does. But hey, Taron Egerton does a really good job on Elton John's music. Like when he does uh, I'm Still Standing in uh, that Illumination movie that I hate. This is torture. That's good, but it's also not the movie we're talking about. The music is great. I like Elton John. Next movie. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jeremy. Number nine is Detective Pikachu. In my head, I saw that differently. I've been playing Pokemon games my whole life. I just, I love Pokemon. I'll be honest with you, I was very skeptical when this movie came out for a lot of different reasons. I watched this movie, I saw it a couple times, it just made me feel so good inside, like Pokemon always does. And how could you, look at this thing, how could you not love this thing? Number eight is Shazam. What's up, I'm a superhero. If you know me, you know that I love superheroes. You could make an entire top 10 of just the superhero movies that came out in 2018. And I did. This being said, I have not read a lot of superhero comics, but as a kid, I did read a lot of Shazam comics. Always loved this character, and to see it on film, boy, what a good time. Oh, I like this. Nice. Cool. Jeremy, you sound like somebody has a fucking gun to your head. I'll be honest with you, this is the same thing I said about Detective Pikachu, but that's the mood I'm in. I like that stuff sometimes. Number... Well, I don't know what number we're at. <laughs> 10987. Number seven is a Lighthouse. How long have we been on this rock? Five weeks? Two days? Help me to recollect. Boy, this movie's a hoot. It's not. It's very reasonable if you don't like this movie. If I wanted to, I could really break down about how the artistry and talent in this movie makes it the best movie of the year, but fuck you. It's not, but it is pretty good. We might have to re-record this video. <laughs> Number six really hit it out of the park. It's Klaus. <laughs> when we did our best of, of 2018, we had a whole debate about whether or not we should include Netflix originals, but they didn't make anybody's lists anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do it this time. If you watch my 2018 videos, you might realize that animation is very important to me. It got my number one and my number two spot. Just feels good, just feels like Christmas, feels, feels like family. I got emotional. What does Christmas even feel like? I'm Jewish. I love the animation of this video. I really like cold aesthetics, and this movie is very cold, but it's very heartwarming. Think about it. Number five. <laughs> My producer is telling me that this is the point where I tell you that uh, those other five movies, other five movies, garbage. I actually don't like them that much. These next. Hold on, let me get another piece of paper. <laughs> oh my. You gotta. But these next five movies, though, delicious. It's like the top five movies of the year. At number five, this was a bad idea. We might have to re-record this video. <laughs> I'd really like to tell you more about Beach Bum. But it's very hard to think about things to say for this movie because it 
doesn't have a plot. And somehow, it just works so well, and that's like the best part of the movie. And also, this movie is beautiful. Shot wonderfully. Number four! It's Spider-Man! Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. In this major motion picture, the Web Slinger is back at it again, this time working side by side with a new hero known as Mysterio, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. Catch this costumed hero on the silver screen about eight months ago. Whoops, Spider-Man, a character beloved by many. One of those many is me, and this movie is no exception. Walking out of the theater, I looked for every spider I could find so I too could become my own superhero. That's how much I loved this movie. Okay, can we move on now? This sure. bit is bad. We might have to re-record this video. <laughs> movie number three is about a tortured man. Arthur Fleck, Joker. Got it, got it in one. <laughs> Send in the clouds. By all accounts, this movie should not be good. I made a whole video about that. But by, by gum, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> if only because uh, Joaquin Phoenix, jo Joaquin Phoenix, nope, gotta do it again. If only for Joaquin Phoenix's performance. He carries this whole movie, not because everyone else is bad, but because he's like the only actor in like most of it. He, he really, he does a fantastic job. Um, next movie. <laughs> I can't play at the same time as I think. Number two, this is a really important one. You better listen up. It's Jojo Rat. Jojo! Oh god. This is a really heartwarming movie. Someone the other day tried to tell me that this movie is anti-Semitic. I don't think that person actually saw the movie. I've been thinking about this movie a lot, and I have to give it a lot of points because it made the phrase Heil Hitler funny. I'm not that talented. Here's the evidence. I'm gonna play a clip from earlier in the video. <laughs> I wasn't recording! <laughs> I hit the ball! Fuck! I missed, I missed! <laughs> no! I do it so good! You need to talk about it for me. Great, so Jojo Rabbit is a really, really heartfelt movie by Taika Waititi um, that takes a lot of conventions of your classic war movie and uh, flips them on your head to give you a different kind of comedy that you've never seen before. I feel like I'm having a stroke just by standing That's here. That's enough. I got. I could take it from here. If we could take a breather, this is legitimately one of the best things to come out of Hollywood this year. I love it so much. I love Taika Waititi. If you have not seen this movie, you really should. Before I talk to you about my number one movie of the year, I really need to talk to you about how something becomes one of my personal favorite movies of the year. This is gonna give anybody watching this video whiplash. <laughs> When I craft a top 10 list, one of the most important things about what goes on the list is how much a movie has affected me as I think about it throughout the year organically. Organically. It's kind of a weird meter. Can I be honest with you guys? I really didn't think about any of these movies this year. Aside from maybe two, three movies, I walked out of all of these and I kind of forgot about them. This was a really disappointing year in movies for me and I'm willing to admit that the common denominator is me and I might just be going through something right now. That's why this video is what it is. I'm finding it very hard to express opinions about these movies. All that said, what really is the movie that I've been thinking about all throughout 2019? Because there is something. There's a movie that I have not been able to get out of my head. It's Spider-Man. No, not um. I I already talked about Far From Home. It I know it's Into the Spider Verse. Look, it's a, it says it right there. This movie came out in 2019. I watched it in 2019. This movie came out in 2019. This is my favorite movie. This is my list. Fuck you. If you want my list to be better, you have to make better movies. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I... I'm missing something. I feel like something big. Right? Is my toast in here to you? Okay. How do you feel about any of that? That's fine. That's... Uh... I want to go on record to say that I hate me more than you ever could. <laughs> Oliver gets tagged me in a post. Oh, goddamn it! Hello, episode one. You should watch that. It's pretty good. It's it's a it's a fun time.